Brockville, home to Canada's first railway tunnel. In the mid-1800s, railway expansion was driving industrial growth, and railways were popping up all over the place. The Brockville and Ottawa Railway was formed to connect industrial commerce from the St. Lawrence River at Brockville to the Ottawa Valley. Connecting to the shore proved to be the biggest challenge. Supervising engineer Samuel Kiefer argued a rail line around the westerly edge of the town was the most economical approach, while the contractor from England argued a tunnel under the center of Brockville was the best solution. The contractor won out, and tunnel construction started in 1854. Delays occurred and construction stopped due to financial problems. After considerable debate, a referendum was held with the citizens of Brockville. They wanted their tunnel and voted in favor of finishing its construction. Crews had to use three different tunneling methods throughout the length of the dig. Trenching was used at the south end and the northern section was tunneled and lined using traditional methods. To get through the solid rock of the middle section, workers blasted through using gunpowder as dynamite had not been invented yet. Rock from the tunnel was used to expand the waterfront area and to build a causeway out to Blockhouse Island where a station, covered engine roundhouse, freight sheds and rail sidings were located. Six years later, after many delays, the tunnel opened to rail traffic on December 31, 1860. The Brockville Railway Tunnel is one-third of a mile long and exits at Pearl Street, where the rail line extends through a gorge area, then travels under the Grand Trunk Railway, what we know now as the CN Main Line. City Hall was later built above the tunnel site and straddles the railway at its southerly end. For over 110 years, train traffic used the tunnel, with the last run made in 1969. In 1983, the city of Brockville purchased the waterfront land south of the tunnel and assumed ownership of the tunnel and North Gorge area, paying Canadian Pacific Railway $1. The city has made considerable investments to renovate the south and north portals to maintain the integrity of the tunnel, now over 155 years old. For decades, water has dripped down the walls, producing spectacular and colorful mineral deposits in large sections of the tunnel. The Brockville Railway Tunnel is planned to become a key part of the city's Brock Trail system, once again becoming an integral part of the city's infrastructure, connecting the waterfront north through the city, available to walkers, cyclists, and yes, even to a tour train. The Brockville Tunnel is the first railway tunnel in Canada and a heritage feature our community can be proud of. Join us as we celebrate the tunnel's grand reopening as part of Brockville's new Railway Tunnel Park. This significant event is being planned for August of 2017 and will be Brockville's present to Canada during the country's 150th birthday celebrations.